Hello, in this video I'm going to show you all the circle theorems you need to know for GCSE Maths. I'm going to do another video where I show you worked exam questions and another one where I show you why they work. So let's start. So the first one says the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So let me draw on the center of this circle there. Well, let's draw on two points on the circumference, say here and here. Now if I draw two radiuses or two radii like this, there we go. Now this angle here in the center, that's my center angle, and let's say we draw another angle here at the circumference that is from those same two points. Now this angle here, say we call it x, that's the angle at the circumference, so this angle at the center is twice as big, so we could call it 2x. The next one says a tangent and a radius meet at 90 degrees. Now a tangent is just a line that touches a single point of the circumference of the circle. So say I draw on a tangent, say there, like this. Now, and I draw a radius that connects to it, so there we go. Now they meet at 90 degrees. The next one says that two radii form an isosceles triangle. So let me draw on a radius here and let me draw another radius here. Now because they're both radiuses they have the same length. There we go. And if I connect them to make a triangle this creates an isosceles triangle. The next one says that angles in a semicircle are 90 degrees. So let me create a semicircle by drawing on a diameter like this. Now any angle that I create by connecting one side of the diameter, say to the circumference, and then the other side of the diameter to the circumference like this, they meet at 90 degrees. And it doesn't matter where I draw these, they will always meet at 90 degrees like this. The next one says that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 degrees. So what is a cyclic quadrilateral? That is literally just any four-sided shape inscribed inside a circle. So let me see if I can draw one. So one, two three, four, that's four sides, so that's a cyclic quadrilateral, and let's label the sides, or the angles rather, A, B, C, and D. So angle A plus B will equal 180 degrees, and angle C plus D will equal 180 degrees. The next one says that tangents from the same point are the same length. So say I draw a point over here, and from that point I draw two tangents, so two lines that will touch the circle like this. There we go. Oh, that's not a very well drawn tangent, but you get the point. Now, the distance between the point and the tangent, so between the point and there and the point and there, is equal for both lines. The next one is the alternate segment theorem. So this says that the angle between a tangent and a chord, so let me draw on a tangent like this, and a chord that touches the tangent, so let me draw one of them on. So this angle here, x, well, that's going to be the same as the angle in the opposite segment. So what does that mean? Well, let's draw an angle in this other segment over here. There we go. This angle up there is going to be the exact same angle size. The next one says a perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the center of the circle. So let's draw a chord. Now, a perpendicular bisector is if we were to cut it in half and draw a line that goes through it at a right angle. So see if I can estimate doing that. So this would be the same length and they would cross at a right angle, that line would pass through the center of the circle. And the final one, I think, angles in the same segment are equal. So what do I mean by this? Well, say I draw on a chord, any angle I draw from by connecting one edge of the chord to the circumference and another end of the chord to the circumference, so this angle here would be x. If I do that anywhere else in the same segment, they will be the same size angle. So that will also be x. And it doesn't matter where we do it, we will always get the same size angles. There we go. And that's all of them. They're all the circle theorems you need to know for GCSE Maths. Hopefully that was useful. If it was, subscribe to my channel. Go check it out. There's tons of other tutorials, past papers, things like that. Or you can go over to my TikTok for loads of worked exam questions. Thanks for watching.